I was nominated to do this by Brad Oliver. Um, initially, I wasn't going to do it. I was going to donate money instead. But then I heard about the ceasefire and I realized it's more important than ever to raise awareness about the atrocities that Israel is carrying out in Palestine, in the West Bank and in Gaza. Under the ceasefire, it's great, lives will be saved, and we're all happy for that, we rejoice for that. But we must not forget that under the ceasefire, Palestinians will still suffer administrative detention. You go to jail for six months at a time with no charge, and after six months, they can just renew it indefinitely. Hundreds of Palestinians are in administrative detention right now, under no charge. Israel will continue to demolish Palestinian homes. Israel will continue to demolish uh, and, and rip out of the ground olive groves, Palestinian olive groves, with olive trees a thousand years old. They'll rip them out of the ground and they'll steal the livelihood from Palestinian farmers right from under them. Palestine is suffering an illegal occupation and it's our duty to protest that. It's our duty to free Palestine. Now these flower pots represent the rubble. They contain the rubble of Gazan homes and then inside flower pots representing the olive groves that Israel rips up from the ground depriving the farmers of their livelihood. I'm not doing ice water because the Gazan people, the people in Gaza, they have very little clean water and have no power to waste in making ice. So this I do, inspired by Elizabeth Harley, the Gaza Rubble Challenge, and I nominate you, all of you, to do the same. I nominate you, all of you, to donate the Scottish Palestine Solidarity Campaign or whatever Palestine Solidarity Campaign it is in your country and to donate the Scottish Palestine Solidarity Campaign. Free Palestine. Palestine will be free.